like so more quiet because it is, you can't see, but it's 5.50 in the morning. So we're going to get our pre-workout ready to go and then I'll explain it in the car. Hi, right, so welcome to uh, the video. We're doing a full day of eating today. We had a very busy day, and it's a little bit of a different day. Usually I like to start off my morning with some form of cardio, uh, running, cycling, swimming, one of those three. But I do have a flight to catch tonight, so I decided I would lift first thing in the morning because that takes the most time out of my day, commuting, lifting, getting home. So we're gonna lift right now, uh, we're gonna swim in the afternoon, and we're gonna bike right before we get to the airport and we're gonna make it all work. Um, but just to walk through what I kind of am consuming pre-workout, uh, Helomix, first of all, Code Hop. We have a scoop of Flight pre-workout, a scoop of Endo Pump Pump Enhancer. Both of those are the mango flavor from BPN, which you can use Code Hop for to get a discount. And then just to get some fuel in me, cause I've been trying to adapt to the concept of training fuel that we're fasted, uh, I'm eating a Go Bar, which is basically a glorified Rice Krispie treat. It is very, very good, but it's quickly digesting carbohydrates. It is 36 grams of carbs. So it's gonna serve as my pre-workout, my energy source prior to my lift, because it's always good to have some type of carbs in you before you get any type of lifting done. It's just gonna provide you that energy. But yeah, like I said, early morning lifts, we had some deadlifts, which is always a damn good time. And I think we're gonna have a really good day. So. Let's get after it. Let's hop in the montage. Let's lift some weight.
whole lift finished 7.53 a.m. 405 for 15 on deadlift, especially early morning. Um, definitely not too bothered by that, but we're gonna go home. Our first class is at 10, so we do have some buffer time. I'm gonna shower, make breakfast, and then hopefully stretch too. I didn't stretch this morning because I wanted to make sure I got to the gym and got my full workout in on time and it wasn't rushed. So hopefully we're just gonna do that, head to class, and then we'll just keep moving on with the day, man. I love it. Let's review breakfast. So, I want to start off by saying it looks a little different than what I usually eat. I usually have avocado on the toast because I feel like that's a little bit more suitable for breakfast. But I'm all out, so I was like, okay, what's another source of a healthy fat? So I got this um, peanut butter from Trader Joe's, and the only ingredient in it is dry roasted peanuts. So I was just like, okay, that's a pretty good source of fat. So. That's why that's on there. Usually it's avocado, but it's all good. Three pieces of sourdough toast, the peanut butter, like I just said, two whole eggs, one whole egg white, and then kind of like half a cup, maybe a cup of full egg whites, and then some spinach. And then for the drink that I'm having with it, it is all these supplements for BPM, and I'll walk through them all. First of all, Strong Greens, a green supplement to ensure the diversification of my gut microbiome is all good. Essentially just helps aid with digestion. Secondly, we have red, which is for antioxidants and just helps with overall immune system boost. Then we have electrolytes, sodium content, especially as an athlete who is training a lot and sweating a lot, consuming sufficient enough sodium is super important for staying hydrated and avoiding cramping. And last but not least, in focus, which is a cognitive performance enhancer. I like to take this before my class. Just helps me lock in a little bit more as a student athlete weapon I am. I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then we'll get ready to head off to class and I'll show you like what I bring to class to make sure that I'm staying on top of everything. So for class, I'm bringing the rest of the morning drink. I guess that's what we'll call it. I'm gonna bring my BPN 74 ounce water bottle because it's like a little more bearable than the gallon of water I used to carry around. And also I have class from 10 to two and then right after I'm gonna swim. So I'm gonna be bringing a BPN Go Gel. This is what I'm gonna have right before my swim. 100 calories, 24 grams of total carbs. This is just like really easily digestible carbohydrates and sugars provide me with energy for my swim workout. And then also to have between classes, we are going to be snagging a Bear Bells cookies and cream protein bar. All right, and before we go any further in this video, I want to give a quick shout out to this paid partnership that I'm doing 
with barbells. If you know me, I mean one of these, maybe even two a day, and these guys have been so supportive of me for so long now, so it's amazing to be doing a partnership with them. Cookies and cream flavor is by far one of my favorite flavors. Uh, others are chocolate dough, creamy crisp, caramel cashew. Really any of the flavors are just like spot on, so good. Just to go through some of the nutrition facts for the cookies and cream uh, Bear Bells protein bar, it is 200 total calories with seven grams of total fat, 20 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. This bar is the perfect on-the-go snack for me when it comes to hitting my macros and just making sure that I stay on track at all times. And what makes Bear Bells so different from any other protein bar is like, just look at the, look at the texture of this, man. It is literally a chocolate bar filled with cookie dough. It tastes so amazing. If you haven't tried out a Bear Bells protein bar yet, what are you doing? I highly recommend checking them out, either buying them online or in stores like Walmart, Trader Joe's, 7-Eleven, or a number of other stores around the country. Let's get on to the rest of the video. Current time is now 3.09, a little bit behind on meals for the day, totally all good. Uh, we're gonna cook up some lunch right now, and then I'm probably also gonna have my, like, I wanna go out my post-workout meal, but it's kinda just like a yogurt and oat bowl. I'm gonna have that as well, and then after client calls, we'll hit the bike, after the bike, we'll have dinner, and that'll close out the day. Holy shit, that's hot.
So here's our lunch. I have some diced up gold potatoes, some diced up tomatoes and cucumbers, eight ounces of bison, and then I just put some balsamic vinaigrette over the top. Here, we just got water, more electrolytes to help with the amount of sweat that I lost in the pool, because even though you're in water, you're sweating. And then a scoop of Recover. Recover is BPN's BCAA, so BCAAs are broken chain amino acids. These really just help. So the more broken chain amino acids that you have, the better your recovery is gonna be, because it's gonna be able to help that synthesis process um, for muscle tissue repair. I will say since I do usually lift in the evening, I usually like to take this at night because it does also have tart cherry powder, which if you know, with like the red tart cherry juice, it helps to induce melatonin release. Melatonin helps you feel more tired. Now, this isn't like a great enough dosage for you to like knock out cold, but it also just really helps with like muscle relaxation after some hard workouts. So that's why I'm taking it. And I've just come to this conclusion the past couple days is that since I'm doing so much training in Ironman prep, and I have so many calories to make up for, I get to like have a little buffer space. And if you know me, I love cereal. So I've also just got a cup of Captain Crunch Berries. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. It's 3.35 right now, throw in laundry. I have clients from four to six. Um, in the middle of that, I mean, if I got some buffer time, I'll make that protein bowl that I was talking about because we do need to get a few more calories in us before we hop on the bike. And then we got an FTP test on the bike. Should be about like a 90 minute or so ride. And then after that, we'll make dinner and that'll do it. I also forgot to mention, but the vitamins that I took, I'm gonna go through them real quick. All BPN as well. What? First up, strong multivitamin. It's a normal multivitamin, which is super important for immune system health overall body function. I'm a huge advocate for taking a multivitamin every day. I've been taking one every single day for about four or five years now, and BPN just has a phenomenal product for it. So yes, first up is the multivitamin from BPN. Second up, another one that I've been taking for years now is the Strong Omega. This is essentially fish oils. They are essential fatty acids, which are really important for heart and cardiovascular health, as well as just overall immune system functioning once again. These two paired together have been staples, um, and now that I'm using the BPN brand of them, they are only the highest quality, and I'm a huge fan of them. And then last but not least, and a new one that I've been integrating into my lineup is the Strong Joints Vitamin from BPN as well. Strong Joints is BPN's joint mobility supplement, which contains collagen, which helps with the aiding of overall kind of functionality with your joints. And as someone who does a lot of high impact movements, such as running, biking, and lifting, my joints are something that I prioritize, Strong Joints. I've noticed actually I feel a lot better since starting taking these. So definitely, definitely recommend if you can purchase it. And there you have it. Oiko strawberry Greek yogurt, BPN, chocolate peanut butter protein powder, some frozen berries, banana, honey, cinnamon, and peanut butter. Current time is 516. I've got one more client and I think we're gonna start riding the bike uh, in about an hour. So I'm gonna eat this, drink some more water, give myself some time to digest, and then I will walk you through how we set up nutrition for the bike to make sure that we're doing everything right during it. So GUNF Sport is by far the best endurance supplement out there for any type of endurance athlete. It is 80 total calories with 20 grams of carbs and 300 milligrams of sodium, 350 milligrams of sodium, sorry. So it's everything that you need to keep fueled and hydrated during any type of endurance activity. I'm gonna be doing two scoops of this, so it's gonna be a total of 40 grams of carbs and 700 milligrams of sodium, and I'm going to just be sipping on this throughout the two hour ride.
so we just finished up the 30 minute warm up. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and then we're gonna start up the FTP test. So let's get after it. So, that was hard. Since it was every minute, it would go up 20 um, watts of power. You just hold it for a minute. Start it at 100, and you make your way as far as you can go. I get up to 340. I don't know if that's a good or not. That was really hard. FTP score, 255. I know we're doing a full day of eating, but I'm so hungry, and I'm running short on time. So I got like 20 minutes on the bike. So I'm gonna order kava. Don't, don't say anything to me. Okay, I'm literally about to eat my kava on the way to the airport. But, I want to show you guys the order first. Out of black at my address. Greens and grains bowl, half super greens, half white rice, chicken, extra chicken, red pepper hummus, roasted eggplant, roasted eggplant, cabbage slaw, Persian cucumber, tomato and cucumber, tomato and onion, fiery broccoli, fiery roasted corn, pickled onion, it's every single topping essentially. And then the yogurt dill dressing. Hi. So I know towards the end of the video, it kind of got chaotic and I had to order a meal as opposed to make the last one. It happens, it's life, but I kind of wanted to have this last clip be a summary of the full day of eating for Ironman training, as well as to go for one product that I did not take in that video, but that I use every single day. So recently, especially with the triple training session school and the amount of work that I'm doing on my own business, my days are pretty packed, so it's important to get like very restful sleep when it is time to finally wind down, which is why I've been taking BPN's Peak Sleep. Now, the main ingredient in here is magnesium, which comes from magnesium by glycinate, which I've talked about a few times in my videos, but magnesium glycinate is able to cross over the blood-brain barrier to then inhibit the NMDA receptors, which are the activity, the activation receptors in your brain. So by taking this supplement right before bed, it's going to help your brain kind of calm down. You're not going to be nearly as active in like the active thought process. Like your brain's not going to require as much blood flow because it's like, all right, we're winding down, um, so it just makes it a lot easier to fall asleep. But yeah, some overall points that I really want to hit home on is number one, making sure that you're eating very nutrient dense whole meals. Uh, no matter what, every single one of my meals is like at least 700 to 800 calories of just like very nutrient dense, meaning like high protein, high carb, high fat, like you're eating foods that's gonna keep you full and fueled, which is super important because I know a lot of people get into like the whole like super low calories, super high, it's like you gotta fuel yourself. You know, you got you can't be under eating, especially if you're, you know, training for performance, which I am, as I am getting ready for an Ironman. So yeah, making sure that your meals are nutrient dense, um, that's that's number one. Number two, and I definitely could have done a better job in this video, it was just a very busy day, but just like meal timing, making sure that you're eating periodically throughout the day to give your body enough time to digest the meals that you're eating, and ensuring that it's able to get transferred into usable energy for your workouts. Last but not least, and this goes for the whole like having to order out, like if you are gonna order out, Order something that's like healthy and nutrient dense. Like that kava bowl, even though like kava is considered fast food or whatever you want to call it, like it was rice, every single vegetable they offered, chicken. 
like, like just because you have to eat out doesn't mean you have to eat unhealthy foods out. Like that's kind of the point um, I want to make when it comes to eating out. Just be smart with what you're consuming if you aren't making it yourself. And then the final point is all the supplements I take, obviously as a BPN athlete, use code HOP if you would like to get a discount on any of them. Um, none of them are mandatory to take. They definitely will help your performance. They will help your recovery. Um, but don't think that like, oh, just because like I don't take the pre-workout. Take what you want to take. That's like my big point at the end of the day. This is just everything that I take. I'm lucky enough to uh, be able to work with these guys. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of their products. I'm a huge advocate for them. If you want to use Code Hop to support me and get these products at a discounted rate, please feel free to. Um, but no pressure. So yeah, that's gonna close out today's video. Uh, like I said, Code Hop for a BPN Gymshark Helo Mix. Um, I just want to thank you guys very much so for watching and I will see you guys next time.